Hi, thanks for checking out our channel. We just, I just did two videos just a little while ago on both these units. I'm the same guy. Both of them are working, but after I looked at his note, um, he wants them to be a little stronger. And uh, there's only so much you can do to a unit before you get too carried away and certain things can't handle the power. And so and you got to make sure you have room for everything that if you want to upgrade power to stuff. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, um, we're going to try to upgrade the power in both of these units, but we're gonna do the M300 first. So what we're gonna do, what I, what I wanna do first, I wanna show you what the output power is to start with. And we're gonna, we're testing output power, we're talking about joules, the output joule, not, not stored joules, but the output joules. And what we're gonna to have to do is this meter I've got here, we'll test voltage, amperage, uh, for like fault finding, and it will tell me the output joules of a unit, which, is pretty rare because most brands won't tell you that or most meters don't do that but this one luckily does so we're going to i need to get my load here to hook up to it um we're going to try this load first might have to go to a lesser load since this, these aren't very big units to start with but we're going to see what kind of output joules this has this is a three stored joules so probably outputs like one and a half give or take i mean most brands are about are used about 50 whatever their output stored joules is they're using about half that on their output joules um depends on the efficiency of the transformers and capacitors and all that fun stuff but we're gonna test that here let me pull out just a little bit so i can So something to touch with this meter, Let's touch this metal right here. All right, so we're gonna put a load on it, see what it reads. Switch over to joules. Reading 2.45, 2.6, or 2.48 uh, joules. That's that top number right there. So we're reading about two and a half joules output. So it's pretty good. It's pretty efficient. If it's three stored, it puts out two and a half output roughly. So it's pretty uh, stout little unit for um, for efficiency. So now we're going to open this thing back up on the right bit. This is a tamper-proof Torx, and we're gonna see what we can do. Add a little more firepower to it. My goal would get it up to be up over three. You know, that's half a joule. That's pretty good jolt. See, you only got so much room inside this thing. You know, there's all you got. I mean, plus it's got to be a little fit inside this case, so you only have so much room. So let me pause this and let me take a look around here. So what we've got right now at the moment's got a 15 microfarad capacitor in it. So we'll see if we can increase that by either going to a bigger one of these, or maybe we, we can add one, add something to this to in parallel so we can increase the capacitance. So let me take a look here real quick. Okay, I've got a few different options we can try uh, to see what's going to work. We've got this capacitor here. This is out of a, another type of Gallagher. It's an 8 microfarad, 1200 volt. So we might be able to set it, I don't know, we might not even be able to use this. Maybe we can sit right there, and then we can extend these out to reach over to the other capacitor. Let's just see if that will fit. Nope. Hits that thing right there, so that won't work. I don't know where else to put it at. Maybe right, well, that's kind of, kind of Mickey Mouse sitting right there. Nope. Nope, that hits crap inside the case, so... I don't think we're going to luck out with this one at all. So we're that one's skip that one. Now this one's um, a true test. It's a 23 microfarad, which it that is eight higher than this one. Because so I've got these right here. These, this is the eight microfarad 900 volt. And this is a four microfarad 400 volt. But we might be able to take these two, solder them together. 
like that and come off of these two over to that one but it might just be easier just to put this in there so let's just try that for let's let's unplug this I'm pretty certain this pass oh well, I think the pass was good minus at the Minus that lead was broken. We can put a new one, another one on. It's no big deal. Just a quarter inch spade connector. Standard size type stuff. All right, let's test it. Make sure it's good. Twenty-three point two, so it will physically fit right there. So let's these wires are awful long, but always shorten them up. It's crap on them. I hate these speed right ones. Let's cut that off. I don't want to dick around with it. make sure that the lid closes okay so it closes let's put that load deal back on here strip this back just a little bit more Plug it back in. So it kind of jewels we get out of it this time. Three point two. So we went from two and a half to three point two. So we finally broke that three jewel range. Let's see what else we can do. See if we can take, ooh, that's not gonna work. Maybe. Getting, getting excited here. Let's pull this off. I think we'll have room. Maybe we can put this pass like right there. Nope. It's going to hit something. I have to put it over here. Let's see first. It's going to sit like right there. Let's see if this. We'll sit down in its home here. Hmm. Sit up a little higher. This board is over here. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's take this. Ah, damn it. No, we're not going to be able to go much bigger than what we got. We're just out of space. Unless, there's a little area right here. Look at that. Oh. Could be hole right here for another capacitor, maybe. Look at that. Damn. 
See, it sits perfectly right inside that little spot. So what we can do is run, maybe we can run wires. I don't know about this. Putting, we weren't here, but we got to be able to solder onto this. So we have to run wires underneath it. Let's run wires, you know, drill little holes, run little wires, and solder to the back side of the board. But what a pain in the neck would be at the have to pull this back apart to work on it. So I don't know. I think we'll just leave it as is. I really don't want to get too crazy with it. Because when it comes to repairability for next time, you know, to pull this board out with that transfer attached, or like pastor attached to it, if I did, I could sneak it all the way around and everything. But I think it's just going to be, this is going to be, I think, more of a hassle than it is anything. And I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time. But at least we got some jewels out of it. So, got about 0.7 more output jewels. So, it's almost. You know, it's about a hundred dollar bill if you're gonna go buy a new unit. Maybe, 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 but more or less. Let's tighten this up. All right. So this one's done. I mean, it was already fixed already, but we did a little upgrade power-wise to the to it, so we got a little more power out of it. So hopefully it helps you out and kind of taught you a little bit of something, something. So anything can be done as long as the, you know the transfer can handle that kind of power. It's not that much bigger than what it already was. The transfer should be okay. Uh, we didn't get super crazy with the output power, and we had enough room in there that we we could still fit the you know, shut the case on it and everything. So we're going to call the guy up and double check with him, but I'm sure he'll want to do it. So, but all right, well, until next time, see you later. Remember to subscribe to the channel. And if you got a fence chart that needs to be worked on or looked at, hit us up. Fencerfixer.com. All that information down in the description area.